Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, and if you don't know me, I have a passion for upcycling clothing. It's just an aggressive amount of honking. That's what I get for living in New York with windows facing the street. I think they're done. Yeah, I finally moved. <laughs> I apologize for not posting in the past three weeks. I was very busy with like apartment hunting, furniture hunting. So I pretty much got everything in my studio secondhand when it came to furniture. So um, Facebook Marketplace is just a great resource. I'm excited to share it with you guys next week. So I'll give you guys an apartment tour. I'm also gonna have a few like DIYs. I'm planning to reupholster my couch and like this chair. I've never done it before. So it's gonna be my first time. But um, that'll be next week's video. Uh, for this week's video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to create a simple halter top and a matching skirt. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is the dress I thrifted. So I just start by cutting at the waist, so right below the elastic. And then I proceed to just take my seam ripper and just seam rip that elastic out so we can repurpose it into the skirt. I set the elastic to the side and then I take the top and just kind of cut the seams at the sides and the shoulder just so I can get the most out of this fabric and I just set the lining aside because I only ended up using the actually like crocheted fabric and I'm just doing this to the top so I can like cut out my halter cut pieces. I'm placing right sides together and just matching like the crocheted part of this fabric so like everything's mirrored image when I cut out my pieces so just follow the halter dress tutorial for the cutting and the sewing steps of this top. And I still needed fabric for the straps and the yoke part of this top so I'm just taking this the rest of the dress since it was a maxi and I'm just like trying it on and deciding how long I want it and I decided I wanted it like a little bit below the knee so it's like a midi skirt and I was able to take off like a lot more fabric so I just cut to the point where I wanted my waist to start. I set the skirt aside and with the leftover fabric I'm just taking the back yoke pattern piece and just placing it at the very edge and I'm making sure the motif is matched up. So I pin that in place. I take my ruler and I extend the center back about like 12 to 15 inches. So on the actual pattern of just the halter top I've already extended it for you. So this is just for people who have the halter dress and they just want to make this crop top. And you're going to end up with just a really long back yoke piece because the back is going to tie. So now you wanna just take that lining that was inside the skirt and you're just gonna like take it and just cut out the rest of your pieces for the lining. So your cups and everything's just indicated on the pattern. So just follow the sewing steps in the halter tutorial. And you get to just sewing the cups together and now you're gonna attach the yoke. It's kind of slightly different than the dress because you're not gonna attach it to a skirt. So you're gonna just take your front yoke and your back yoke lining and main fabrics and just sew those side seams together and overlock the ends of the cups and just pin them on the front yoke. And then you're going to just take the lining yoke and just pin it on top of that so you're sandwiching the cups in between and you're just going to be sewing that seam along the top. Pin it in place and just take it to the sewing machine and sew a half inch seam allowance. Lock that seam and do the understitch for the lining to roll back and you have a really nice halter and for the hem you're going to just overlock each layer separately so overlock that first and then just take it to your iron and just fold up the lining a half inch and you're going to just overlap the main fabric on top of that as you can see and it's just like sandwiching the seam allowance in between and you're going to just do like a double needle top stitch to hold everything in place so just iron it it's easier like that pin along the entire hem and when you get to the end you're going to just fold in a half inch and then you're gonna fold down the seam allowances like so and then like fold it back up and pin it into place so you have a really nice clean edge when you finish sewing the hem I take it to the sewing machine and I'm using my double needle to sew along the hem and it's not necessary to use a double needle, I'm just using a double needle because I'm using a stretch fabric but for the halter dress I made I used a linen so you can just use any woven fabric and do a straight stitch and it should work just fine. Last step for this top, you're going to just hand stitch the end of the tie closed as well as the necktie ends closed. And now we can move on to the skirt. The maxi dress, the skirt portion had a slit and it was like at the side, but I wanted it to be at the front. So I kind of just like folded the fabric to where I had like six inches from the side seam to the slit at the side. Just pin everything in place because it's just a giant rectangle. And then at the side, I'm just measuring down about eight inches 
so like an inch for the waist and then seven inches down to find my hip so pin that and i looked for my center which was about like four inches in from that slit and then from the center i measured out about six and a half inches because my waist is 26 so divide that by four so from the center to the side you're going to mark six and a half and then at the hip line from the center you're going to just measure your hip measurement mine was 36 and then i divide that by four so i get nine inches so from the center to the side i'm just measuring nine inches and i just take my curved ruler and i'm just connecting those two points i take my straight edge ruler and from that hip we marked i'm just kind of like blending it down to the bottom of the hem because i kind of want my skirt to be slightly bigger than the hip at the hem so it's like not such a squared shape i take the rotary cutter and just cut out that whole new side seam and i just fold it in half and just mirror image the other side and i just cut out the other side and i end up with a perfect fitting skirt skirt is best for stretch fabrics because it's going to just like mold to the body and you can have an elastic waistband instead of like a closure and now that you have a front and a back skirt you're going to just take the back and fold it in half and at the center back of the back piece you're going to drop it a half inch just to give it more shape to the back take your curved ruler and just blend it to the side seam and you're going to just repeat this to the front piece but you're only going to drop a quarter inch instead of a half before sewing the skirt together you want to just unsew the hem so you can like redo it and just have like perfect seams um so after seam ripping the hem you're just going to place right sides together and pin the side seams and take it to your sewing machine and sew a half inch seam allowance and then just overlock it that is the key to like sewing um crocheted knits and just reworking them you can also use a zigzag stitch to get the same effect so you're going to just take your elastic which is what we took out of the dress earlier and i'm just measuring about like half of my waist which is 13 and then i'm removing about like an inch and a half from that measurement so i end up with like an 11 and a half inch elastic i take the skirt and with the elastic i'm pinning it at the back so right on top it doesn't have to be on the inside it's just going to be right on the top of the back so you're just going to take the elastic and pin it on the outside from the side seam to the other side seam and then you're going to just stretch it to find the center and then when you take it to the overlock machine you're just stretching it with the back of the skirt so everything lines up and then it will shrink back to the elastic when it's all sewn after overlocking the waist with the elastic at the back, even though I would recommend doing elastic around the whole waist, but uh, the, I only had enough for the center back, so that's what I did. And you're just going to do a double fold finish for the hem at the waist. So um, just do a double fold and then just pin it in place and take it to your sewing machine. And I'm just going to use a double needle because I need this to stretch over my hips when I pull it up. And for the hem, I just went ahead and overlocked it before I actually hemmed the bottom of the skirt because I wanted it to not unravel because with like these crocheted knits, you kind of risk the unraveling. That's why I recommend clean finishing your ends. And I'm just pinning it up like three quarters of an inch because that was the original hem. And then I'm just taking it to the sewing machine and using the double needle and sewing it in place. And don't forget to back tack. And this is the two-piece set, so the skirt isn't lined, but I'm wearing a bikini bottom because I think it'd be a great beach cover-up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. Boy, just be honest.